everybody, this is Back Blast, and here I am again on my Planet Zoo. And what we've done today is, um, I said that I'd finish off this area, and I have done. This was the uh, lemur enclosure that we built in the last video. Uh, we've now got the entrance and exit buildings in there, and uh, we've got the uh, the guidelines of where the rope would be. You know, for the netting on the top. I haven't actually put any form of netting on I, I never think that it, it looks right I, I'm, I'm not quite sure I know some people do use more rope to suggest netting and things like that however uh, for the time being this is this is the way I like to do it so um, uh, um, let's just imagine it's a really fine net <laughs> um, the one problem with this location is that there are no animals in it and the reason for that is there's a, a, a strange glitch with planet zoo and that um, you can build a fence and you can build things in it and animals will climb up it and that's fine and they will climb onto the roof and that's fine and everything looks great they will even climb up onto these ropes all that is fine what isn't fine is an animal climbing onto this building going on this piece of wood here and going through the fence and a glass panel so what happens in planet zoo is if you've got a piece of climbable equipment that goes from inside an area to outside an area Animals can climb on that and walk straight out, even if it goes straight through the mesh here of the fence. It, it, it's just um, a strange glitch that the animals will just walk straight out across that beam. Or indeed the beam that runs across the bottom, or any of the beams that run through the middle of the house. It doesn't matter that they go through a gate. There's a gate in there. There's a pedestrian gate in both of these buildings. Um, and it, it just it breaks the enclosure there is um, I haven't found a way of stopping the animals getting from inside to outside by having these two buildings here it just doesn't work however um, what I also have done is the other lemur enclosure that is here so Chester has a couple of lemur enclosures right next to each other uh, I believe there's a third one in a different part of the zoo um, but the, these are the new Madagascar exhibit areas and this one does have lemurs in it, um, so I'll just show you around this. Uh, similar type of building to the to the other one. We've got a sleeping area in here. This is a buggy park, so uh, people can leave their prams there. Um, we've already put some of the various foliage in, and we've got the little viewing houses. I think in real life these are glass panels, but if I put a glass panel in, the glass panel goes right to the roof, and it doesn't look right. Um, uh, these little huts are a pain simply because the, the same glitch that happens with the the things going through the fence here if I place this hut any closer to this fence and I'm talking a pixel or two closer the animals will be able to climb through the fence onto this building um, this is literally the closest I could build this building to this fence it's um, it's slightly broken um, and the same with this one, I, I, I built them both right up against the fence and I had to move them back. Um, in the actual zoo, there is a fence here, as you can just see, a small fence to stop people getting up to the main fence and sticking their fingers through it because these animals will bite. Um, what else have we done? So again, we've got the enclosure netting in there. Um, but apart from that, it's a fully finished enclosure. I haven't done a lot of the theming yet, so uh, we're, we're short of a lot of uh, theming and trees and things around here, and this area needs uh, a bit of work on it. Uh, but that's all things that I can do in in the background when when I'm not recording video. It's like this fence and and these bushes and things. Uh, there's no need for me to show you doing show show me doing those. You you don't really want to watch that. Um, but apart from that, we've got uh, two different types of lemur in here. We've got the ring-tailed. So I know the ring-tailed don't actually live in this enclosure. They live in the other one that you can escape from. Uh, but they, uh, they're they in here with the red-roofed lemur, who I think also live in the other one in the real zoo. I think the red-roofed and the ring-tailed, there's another one lives in there. I think there's something like a black lemur or something lives in this one. 
However, for our purposes, it's nice to just have at least one enclosure that's working and uh, the lemurs are happy in. Um, I don't know what else to tell you, really. Um, it's um, Actually, what I haven't done is there, there are poles to connect the inside and outside. However, the lemurs can't actually get inside that building. And um, the doorway that leads in here is too narrow for them unbelievably and the um if i put a platform in here they can do the same glitch so they can they can get they can climb up onto like the the roof here you see the roof that that barely pokes through uh and climb out and uh, there's a few other bits so these uh, these wooden planks that are on they're actually on a plaster wall so there's plaster wall and then the planks are on the outside they can climb onto those somehow so I've stopped the animals getting in so the, there's no physical way they can get through there I just haven't placed uh, anything they can walk on there um, and apparently they can't jump that gap so yeah so they've got a lovely outside enclosure um, it's got all the toys all the food um, it's got all the netting and rope they can climb up these ropes um, we're quite happy with that they can climb up the poles and uh, they can climb across and everything and uh, it looks great when they're doing that but um, for now that is that enclosure finished certainly the the actual enclosure I've got work to do on uh, the fossa enclosure which is here which will probably be the next video and then of course filling in the gaps so around here and around here just joining these two up with planting and this walkway as well needs some fencing and some plants all the way along here and then all the way around there's a little garden around here and then there's two buildings and these are the offshore buildings for the lemurs um, where they can be segregated so that needs a bit of work on but they're similar buildings to these they're of a similar style there's a bit of fencing uh, and gates here but that's about it oh the the viewing enclosures that are here with the palm roofs there are similar here so there's one here one here and one over here which don't have a palm roof they have a flat roof or pretty much flat uh, it's more like an asphalt roof but they'll be going in as well and again all the plants and things that go around the outside so that's it so it's it's looking pretty good um, there is no build video for this I did record one and then when I was putting the plants and the ropes in the game crashed and um, I lost the video for the plants and things and I thought you know what I'm not going to just show the the build video. I have got it. If you're really, really desperate, I'll put it up. But otherwise, we're not that bothered, are we? I don't think so. Um, but let me know if you do want to see it. But I think it, it's all looking pretty good. It, it's almost tying in nicely with the other side. So we've got all the, the penguin enclosure and the planting there. Once we get planting on this side, it'll all look a little bit better and it'll look like it's all part of one zoo rather than that being lovely and this being slightly off on its own, not quite finished. But so far, I think both these enclosures look really nice and I think the fossil one will add to it beautifully uh, and that will probably come in the next video, as I said. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and um, I hope to see you next time. My name is Backblast. Catch you later.